Okay, right guys, so this is how you cook a fish. First you get your sea bream, spelt B-R-E, B-R-E-A-M, and you season it. You get your ground pepper, and just, oh hang on, ground black pepper, see it, a pinch of it, chuck it on like this. Chuck it on that dust. Chuck it on that dust. Put it, <coughs> put it away. Next thing you want to do is just rub it in, like so. Stroke it like a pet. There's a good fish. There's a good fish. We're going to turn on the grill. It's only on one setting for our hog, so turn it onto the grill setting. Put the light on. And then, yeah, pretty much. Wait a couple of minutes. While we're waiting, let's just make sure the fish is nice and tender too. <coughs> oh, it stinks of fish. Right. <coughs> and then you get. <coughs> oh, and then you're gonna throw it in. Leave it under there to rest for probably say. How long does it say? Leave it in the grill for eight minutes. Why is it not on the list? Let's just assume it's a cod fillet. It's time to attend to our fish and see how he's getting on. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> he's looking lovely. All we need to do now is throw some peas with this, make some hollandaise sauce from scratch, um, which means we need to get eggs and. Um, okay, let's forget the hollandaise sauce. Forget the door. <coughs> it's all going well. Fortunately, he seems to have grown a very large boil on his um, on his fin, so I'm not sure where that came from. But apart from that, he's looking fairly healthy. He's looking lovely. That's how you do it. You gotta boil him. Don't know what that's for. Flipped it over now. He's looking marvelous. Looking beautiful, isn't he? Wow, come on, kiss him. I'm leaving that for a bit longer. I don't know why I'm filming. Mmm, that's a beautiful noise. Mmm. Now we've got to grab our flour. Hang on. We've got to grab our milk. Right. Let's start popping it in. Uh, I'd say about 50 grams or so as an estimate. Okay. Grab yourself a wooden... Whoa, grab yourself a wood. Grab. Yeah. Grab yourself a wooden spoon. And fold it in like so. Ooh. Oh, okay, I'll pop this one out. Now you add in that milk. Whoa! Get rid of all those lumps. Oh, how's Nemo doing? Let's get him out. Let's see how he's getting on. Oh, that's looking marvellous. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a sea bream. That's a sea bream. Oh, my lovelies, all we have here is our little sea bream. Um, new potatoes from Dad, thank you very much. And pista resistance. A little drop there, a little drop there, and all over the potatoes. It's going to be first to work, as you can tell, which is why I have provided a very own drink to this fine, fine evening. Got my dandelion and burn up here, uh, independent. 50p from Nippin. Last of this, with all that I have here, cost me £2 in total. Without further ado, let's get tucked in. We'll watch out for bones now. It's going to be Oh, what have you got bones? Oh, have a, a Yorkie mug on the side for all the bones. You never know when you're going to need one. And always remember, folks, keep your tasty beverage on the side. Mm. Oh, swallowed a bone. Oh, so thirsty. So, um, be a good time for me to say goodbye. Not now, but officially I need to stop these things. That means henceforth no more vlogs. I'm really sad that these experiences were not long term. But they've been fun. A good ride. Most importantly, all we have to say is it's the experiences like this that matter. The no, it's it's moments like this we treasure.
No. Grass is always greener. Yeah, I can't think, I can't think up a, a really good quote at the moment. The time will come when I'll have one to give you. <laughs> well, I'm giving this a 8 out of 10. I'm deducting one point off for the bones and one point off for um, the first. Anyway, this has been Jezza Vlogs. Thank you for watching again. And I'll see you soon. The dead fish. How pretty he is. <laughs>